All right, guys. Well, this is a story that we've been following, and now apparently we have numbers. Unfortunately, these are numbers I believe we already knew. Crunching numbers. Who's paying for the new Ray Stadium? Although there is a little caveat in here that possibly will push the total payment by the public to around a billion dollars based off of some interest. Taking a look, we guys, we all know the situation surrounding it. The Rays right now, completely ridiculous, deciding to build a ballpark adjacent to Tropicana Field just days after having back-to-back -back home playoff games with an attendance under 20000 Now they're about to have meetings about building this stadium and just the total cost, but let's get into the details. The city of St. Petersburg and the Rays development team have clarified the terms on how they will contribute funds towards the $1.3 billion new project. And I would also say about the $1.3 billion, first we heard it was going to be a billion, then it was 1.2. I think at one point it was 1.4. So, so this is what happens with these stadiums. They're always over budget. I'm guessing this is going to end up being $1.5 billion. Right now they're saying 1.3. It is a fully domed stadium. It's not retractable. So you would think that would bring the cost down a little bit. But also, I mean, just the, des the design of the stadium, you know, going, with basically I guess there is natural light but none shining in through the top that's a very strange design especially for what we're used to in modern building if you're going to go with a dome there's got to be some type of translucent roof shining through I understand if you really look at that teepee design you will see like the crevices where it goes up and connects that little area, there is supposedly going to be light shining through. At least that's what it looks like in the renderings. But still, it's just a very strange design. You would think they would do something with a translucent roof. I mean, look at the Orlando design. Like, the, the state of Florida right now, and I've discussed this, they just don't, they, they're unsure on how to build stadiums because of their climate. They're putting canopies on them. They're putting roofs on them. Jaguars, Camping World st uh, Stadium, FSU football, they're all doing weird things. The Orlando translucent roof proposal for an MLB expansion team. And now this teepee design. It is hard to build a stadium in the state of Florida because of the humidity, because of the climate with the unpredictable thunderstorms. And it's like, oh, it's nice in Florida, but it's very strange in terms of weather when it comes to sporting events. Uh, but guys, let's get to it. According to the latest drafted agreement obtained by St. Petersburg Catalyst, the city will contribute a total of $600 million. That's exactly what we thought was going to be the sum there towards the stadium development. And the Rays will pick up the remaining cost around $700 million. So the Rays paying for slightly more than half, which that's pretty standard, unfortunately, when it comes to these stadium deals. Some of the time you actually have public pay more, although we have started to see a change of the guard to where the public doesn't want to pay anything. And when you look at this and you look at the Rays' attendance, do we really think the people in the Tampa area, which also includes St. Petersburg, because, te te well, I should say, St. Petersburg is included in Tampa Bay. Tampa is actually different than Tampa Bay. Tampa is where we all think the Rays should go because it's across the bridge. You're going to get more people St. Petersburg is part of the Tampa Bay area, but it's not Tampa. It is very confusing, uh, but at least that's I, I would that's how it was explained to me when it comes to that. And then you can see uh, roughly 700 million pending approvals. The city's around 300 million contribution will be backed by Community Redevelopment Agency tax increment revenue bond issues. The bond documents will be reviewed by the St. Peter Petersburg City Council. That's key. They're going to be reviewed. So this is not just because they have a stadium deal, just because we have a new rendering. It's not a foregone conclusion that this is happening. And especially you would think they're going to be meeting over the next few weeks. We just saw the team not even draw 20,000 fans, folks. Like, there's obviously a clear issue with the location of this stadium. Maybe we should rethink this whole thing and say... It just doesn't make any logical sense. Even if we want to build a ballpark district that's around $6 billion, that's kind of a whim and just not a smart decision to invest 30 or 40 years, three or four decades into an area where you just drew under 20 k It has been year after year after year 
where it's been a horrible fan base. And I understand you can say it's Tropicana Field, but this is like chicken or the egg. It's the same thing with Oakland. Is it the Coliseum? Is it the fan base? Is it the bad owner? You know, it's so hard to judge, but with the Rays, I think it's even worse than Oakland because at least with Oakland, their owner completely destroyed that team. I mean, legitimately destroyed that team. And with the Rays, at least the Rays are still good. They're still functional. They started 13-0 this year. They won like 99 games. No, they didn't win the AL East, but still, they were always in the playoffs since game one. And you're still seeing horrible attendance. And they say, well, it's the location. It's Tropicana Field. Yes, but the location is going to stay the same. That's the entire problem. Uh, The counties. $312 $312 million commitment will be sourced from tourist development uh, tax. So so yeah, that's a tourist thing. That, that's kind of how they get it coaxed through. Oh, no, no, no. The local people aren't paying. It's going to be the tourists coming into the city that are paying. When in reality, it really just is a manipulation tactic when it comes to taxes. If you're going to raise the taxes on tourists, that's going to have a snowball effect on the people that are living there. It's just a way to dress it up and maybe it'll have less of an effect, but it's still going to have an effect. Uh, And then it says, meanwhile, the raise contribution would be sourced through proceeds of loan programs available to MLB clubs, private sources, and other things as well. The overall funding by the Rays will have to satisfy the city, the county, and their advisors in accordance to the terms of the development and funding agreement. The Rays will sorely be responsible for any design and construction defects in the 30,000-seat stadium with a fixed roof. The team would also be responsible for management operations and maintenance. And so, yeah, not really surprising when it comes to the stadium in terms of the capacity, 30,000. I would assume you've got to have standing room up to 35K. It is a stark contrast from the potential Orlando proposal on the expansion team. They want a capacity around 45K, which is very large nowadays for a potential stadium. The Rays will have the option to extend the 30-year use agreement term for two additional five-year periods. So they're going to be there for 30 years if this goes through at least. That that doesn't surprise anyone considering you're building a new stadium. Obviously, the stadium's going to last at least 30 years. You're spending $1.3 billion on it. And when you look at the Rays' official plans to gather public feedback about the stadium plans at three community events. Uh Uh-oh. The first will be held on October 9th, so that's actually in two days from this video being filmed, and they're also doing one three days later and then five days after that. Can you say Jacksonville Jaguars 2.0? Remember when the Jaguars release all their brand new renderings? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, they call it the stadium of the future. That's just weird. You don't, like, when you design a new stadium and you say, oh, it's the stadium of the future, it just sounds like you're a wannabe, you know, like space traveler. Like, no, 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 just just design the stadium. You don't need to call it the stadium of the future. Uh, they got that chrome stadium in Jacksonville they want to build. But no, they release all the renderings and then completely bury the lead. Oh, we want the public to pay $1 billion for the stadium because it's actually going to cost $2 billion because we want to build a development area around it. Uh, And now the Rays come out two weeks before they have back-to-back playoff games with just horrible attendance. And they say, yes, the the stadium deal is through. We're building it in St. Petersburg. Oh yeah, the public's going to have to pay $600 million and we're going to have to have some little, uh, get some p- feedback from the public on October 9th. Remember the Jaguars were all gung-ho about their project and everyone's like, oh yeah, this is great. Look at all these renderings, it's happening. And then they get the feedback and 6% support paying for half the stadium. So, I mean, listen, I don't know what's going to happen when it comes to the Rays situation and that fan base, but... Uh, This could get really ugly really quickly depending on the public feedback that this gets. It could go real sideways, but I guess we will have to see. Considering this has moved way further than I thought it was going to, I thought the team... Well, well, I I, I shouldn't say I thought the team was going to be moved, but it seemed like it was trending in that direction based off of a number of factors, the owner, what he was saying. It seems like he was trying to create some type of negotiating war or gain some type of leverage if he does end up selling the team. Uh, But listen, we're going to have to see what ends up happening. This is a developing situation. And then you have this headline, Ray's stadium deal could cost public nearly twice of what the officials say. 
uh, with interest on debt, St. Petersburg could pay more than $1 billion on a new stadium after the $600 million because apparently uh, there's going to be interest on that based on payments over time. And listen, this whole thing is a complete mess. You can't go back-to-back playoff games at getting under 20K. And then you've got people, oh, it was at 3 o'clock. It doesn't matter. 20K is, that's next level bad. That's like a a Friday night game in April in Minneapolis when it's 42 degrees. They're getting 19,000, guys. Come on. I I mean, you know, and then the the ticket prices, I, I, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I just think there's not a high demand for MLB baseball in this area. There is not a high demand for it. And if you think some $6 billion redevelopment project is really going to fix it, 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 it seems like a massive risk to me to invest 30 or 40 years into this redevelopment project in St. Petersburg. And on top of that, it doesn't help that this stadium, it's a teepee pyramid that it, it, it's just not that great of a design. And, and I know you look at the interior of it, and we were impressed by the images. You have the very nice tanks with the stingrays. Although I will say, I do think if they actually did that, they would put netting over the tanks because PETA got really angry that they didn't do that, so they have to put netting over it in case a home run gets hit into it. They're like, oh, what if it hits a stingray? Listen, we're not going to be putting nets over the tanks. It makes it look ugly. I'm sorry, but I think that's what they're going to have to do. But I do agree those tanks out in center field are cool, and there are aspects of it, the rendering, that I do like. But you just look at the roof design, dude. That is going to age horribly. I'm sorry, Baseball in Florida right now, to me, it's the blind leading the blind. It's just not working out. I mean, maybe you could swing it in Orlando, but that's basically, I mean, that that's Las Vegas 2.0. Or maybe that's Las Vegas on steroids because I do think they get more foot traffic in terms of tourists than Vegas, but there's no loyalty there. If you actually want a, a, a city that's going to be loyal to the team, certainly Nashville or Charlotte, I would think, better than the Rays at this point, but that is just me speculating, you know, we'll have to see. Either way, this is huge news. We're going to see what the public says about this deal, and we could have a completely new narrative. I would imagine we would have a new narrative, considering there does seem to be a significant lack of support for MLB baseball in St. Petersburg at this point. I'm not saying the Rays don't have diehard fans. Absolutely, they do. I'm just saying they have less diehard fans than pretty much every other MLB team outside of maybe the Marlins. And guess what? The Marlins are another Florida-based team as well who just built a new stadium 10 years ago, and we're all looking at this situation and saying, this is actually going to be worse than the Marlins situation because this stadium is worse than Lone Depot Park that they're building. At least Lone Depot Park, there's a massive opening in it. I mean, you could say there's an opening in center field in this stadium, but it just looks like a dungeon to me. And and just the teepee design of it is just, it's not very good. So either way, guys, we will see. It would be kind of cool just, you know, based off of entertainment value. And, and, and for my channel, it would be better if they did move to Orlando. Because that, that, that design that they have in Orlando is really interesting. And also, it would just create more content for me. I'm not going to lie. But listen, we'll have to see if the Rays end up staying or leaving. Either way, it certainly seems like uh, the blind leading the blind when it comes to committing to this area for the next 40 years and holding meetings five days after you just had 20,000 people for a playoff game at home. But yes, let's commit to the same place. This is smart. We'll spend $6 billion on a stadium district. It's going to be, it's all going to be okay. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.